handle that. So here we go. Oh. So the the energy of 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 watching the stuff as it relates to the Capitol and the MAGA and the Trump supporters and what have you, it it takes my energy and saps it like pretty bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like like my I vibrate pretty low. Yeah. When I watch that. Right. So I have to be careful. Yeah, I have a limited amount of time that I actually watch it, like look at it on TV. I, I give myself a max of 20 minutes mm. because you, you start to watch when something that tragic is happening, it almost becomes like Sports Center. It's just repeating yeah. itself with somebody else's take. But it's still the same exact topic. Right. And I think a lot of times in our community, we get called in like, I have to be watching because I have to be informed. I have to be there if something new happens. I'm like, if something's breaking news, it's going to be breaking news whether you're watching it all day or I pop up on your phone, or I pop up on your Google, pop up on your social media mm. apps. So you got to control your own energy. Because I'm one of them dudes, when it gets too heavy like that, it takes me three or four days to decompress. Mm. I just in my mind, like, man, our climate is that bad. Yeah. And not only that it's that bad, but it's being allowed. It would be different if people were actually effectively being punished for it. But it's kind of like, like, I think President Biden was saying something like, come on, America, this is not who we are. And I'm like, mm. That is exactly Kinda. who we've been for many, many years. And yeah. like you said, when you, you're from Alabama, I grew up, I, you know, born and raised in Memphis, grew up in Mississippi. So I've experienced racism as early as seven, eight years old. Kids can't even be children because they're being, it's being brought to their attention that because of their skin color, they're different. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't even just play with people that yeah. I think are cool because now I got to be made aware that we're not the same. Uh, not yeah. only that we're not the same, but they're better than me. Because of, you know what I'm saying? They, they Not are, that any of this is head. true, but this is what their parents have been teaching yeah. them. And so now you get, and that that kind of stuff is called trauma. And people don't yeah. realize how trauma affects them. When you're an adult, you know, you're still doing things that you did when you was a kid or you're, you're yes. re- responding to certain things in a way that may be unhealthy because of stuff that you dealt with in your childhood. It's the same thing watching this sports center type capital storm yeah. over and over. You know, it's like you have no idea how seeing people get shot in the neck or crawling up the side of a bit like that is that is crazy. We make memes and stuff about it, and you know, like the whole uh, Super Mario joint when the dude fell. Yeah, that's right. That was, that was hilarious. You know, with the, it's kind of funny. Three point harmony. When <laughs> you know girl, us, black people gonna find something to laugh about. We have to be hilarious. <laughs> we have we to. We don't have a choice yeah. but to be hilarious because we're gonna find the silver lining because that's all we've been doing our whole life: find the yeah. silver lining in something bad, making you know? something out of nothing. Yeah, Got it, to. it was the it was the it was the Jesus saves, and God bless America. Mm-hmm. It was them saying yeah. that we are here uh, because we are we are bought with a price, and we are we are blood we're blood bought, and and you know we, it's the entitlement, mm-hmm. man. And then you did it in Jesus' name, yeah. And and and, and, and he ain't happy serious. about that. Dead serious, like they mean it. Like they yeah. they get up in the morning, eat grits, pray, and make those signs, and they go storm the Capitol. Yeah. In Jesus name. And they in think that, and they Jesus think name. that that's what the Lord wants sense. them to do because this country is too liberal. We've given t- people too many freedoms right. to live their lives and I'm like, "Do you do you know who Jesus was?" And I'm sorry, I shouldn't say grits. I meant oatmeal. <laughs> cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Do black wait wait wait. Do black people still eat cream of wheat? No, Absolutely not. Nah. Nah, you ever walk down the cereal and see the cream of wheat to the right? It'd be full all, <laughs> all the time. The time. It's not, they it's never sold out. They never even push back. They it's, never, it's, just, it's you know, it's pulled. They don't the even place. keep ordering it. They just nah, keep. Like, no, they just leave the same because it don't expire. You know, it never dies. So <laughs> just leave that there. Oh it don't change God. logos or none of that, man. But you know, but I like with black people, and we we gonna make something funny, man. Like you know, some of these traumas are even funny to me. Like it's funny. I remember as a kid, you know, getting pulled over by the police when I was with my grandmother. I'm talking about six or seven. And she was already coaching me on how to act oh. mm-hmm. for when I started driving myself. Like, yeah, you know, police come, go ahead, you know, go ahead and get your registration out, go ahead and get your insurance out, go ahead and get your license out, put your hands with somebody can say, I'm like, this is at six or seven. But that's yeah. a problem, though. Think it's about crazy. it. When they stormed the Capitol, they stormed the Capitol with feelings of entitlement mm-hmm. and the understanding that you work for me. Yeah. This is the people's house. Right. We own that house. If we want to come in, we're going to come in that house. If we, that's us, that's our house. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so, and so with us, with cops, we never grew up thinking that cops were our friends. Or that they work for us. Yeah, or that they work for us. That part. You know? That and part. so it's that level of when you see a white person get pulled over by the cops. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, and how they don't want to open the door. I'm not going to roll my window down. I'm not going to give me your badge number. I know you're da da da. And I'm going to make sure you get fired. You're going to lose your job. All that. And they mean it. Black yeah. people. Listen, first of all, it's up some. Now in this age where you got the cell phone, 
they be doing the most, quite frankly. Yeah. Y'all, y'all be doing the most. But there you go, whatever. But we don't even want it, man. We don't, we don't want the radio up. We, we I turn know that's off. right. We don't Bruh. have nothing. Nothing. Bruh. They don't need to hear anything in this Bruh. car. Bruh. Nothing. Bruh. Except me breathing. Off. I done cut the car off. <laughs> I only want you to hit my engine because right. you might mistake that. You think I'm trying to leave? I think or I'm about something. to bounce, right? Nope. It's off, bro. It's off. Yeah. Look, my license in the registration is already on the ground outside. Listen. Just threw it out the window. As soon as I seen the light. It's too cold, I had the window down. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold out there right now. I don't know what yeah. you Winter just got here. Yeah. It's cold outside. I'm bruh. Okay. I'm gonna change a little bit, actually. No, nah, it's a little cold. It's a little nippy out there, bro. Like it ain't, it ain't no, just put your little house coat on and walk out the door. No, nah, it's Pico no season. More. You gotta get dressed. Pico season. You know, where where are we left? What are we left with? Because Black America knows, we know that this is a, a possibility. We know that they think this way. But um, this, this last presidency has really emboldened people. And now they feel like my racism and my hatred, my privilege, it's okay. And it, it's kind of like, what it, like, scenario. I went, to, um, I went to this restaurant. I was wearing this hoodie. I went to a restaurant with my homegirl. And we walked in. It was a... It, Nice little spot in Buckhead. Uh, we walked in and everything kind of just went silent. And I noticed that it was nothing but white people. It, there's two entrances. There's nothing but white people on the side that we walked into. Mm. I'm look. I'm like, you already know. I'm like, okay, where where are we at? Are, are there any of us in here? So as I'm walking to the back, I see that there's a couple of tables in the back, all black people. Right. Now I'm not saying that the restaurant has separated black and white people. I'm just saying it seemed like that looked like exactly what happened. That's but it might have been the black people don't feel comfortable over here with all these white people. Let me just go find somewhere else because when I walked in, that's exactly how I felt. Right. So I went, you know, went back back that way, and this white lady, she said, she looked at my hoodie and she said, "Hey, come here." And I promise, everything in me how said, she said, "Come here." How she, how she, she, said, come she here. said, "Hey, come here." Did she do like this? She did just like that. <laughs> and I looked at her, and my spirit said, "Keep walking." My yeah, spirit told me to keep yeah, walking. Yeah, to that, spirit, that wasn't the day I was obedient. I was disobedient that day. And um, okay. she said, she said, it's okay to be black, but it's also okay to be white. And I said, but mostly black. And I went on to my seat because what you're not going to do is try to play with me as if being white has ever not been okay. Like, it's been okay to be white for centuries. Y'all Ooh. have not had no type of injustices inflicted mm-hmm. you've not been disenfranchised you've not been stripped of your humanity like you cannot talk to me about this hoodie you don't know this life have you watched one white person on trial and be like ah oh, they gonna mess his life up like exactly you're not even that concerned like he'd be all right you know what i mean two years two <laughs> years meant max he'd be yeah. right. he gonna be right back to doing whatever like, it was he was doing we was watching the oj trial like yeah it's over with bro he might be done yeah you know what i mean and Not excusing what OJ and he did, was. but you know what I mean? We were stressed out for him. Allegedly. We're like, bro. He was done, though. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> he back, he back on Twitter, though, now. He, he living it up, you know? You already know what you know. <laughs> the, thing that, the takeaway for me is... If the uh, glove don't fit. Yeah. <laughs> the takeaway for me is... You wore that twice? I did. I wore all my hoodies. Mm. But this was like last week. Two points for KD for the shade. How much was that microphone? Uh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> this microphone... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to keep doing this with y'all. Cut the camera. Security. That's good. It's the Katie.